Welcome back to our channel, Alexandria and Daisy here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some really cute fall Halloween inspired dog treats. I picked some delicious DIY recipes to share with you guys. So grab your pup and let's get cooking. treat is a frozen yogurt tree and we are making these with a little plastic mold that I got at Target and they are pumpkins. So all you're going to need for this is some plain yogurt, pure canned pumpkin, and some water. I'm going to add one cup of plain yogurt to my little blender and this is what I'm using to blend mine. It's just my like smoothie bullet or whatever you call those things. One fourth cup of water. You hear Daisy down there? She's really gonna love these. Oh goodness, she wants some pumpkin. We're gonna add some pumpkin. This is the 100% pumpkin. To open it, I'm actually going to use this really awesome thing called Kitchen Mama. This is an automatic can opener and basically it takes all the work out of opening your cans. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. To use it, all I'm gonna do is set it right on top of my can and press this button. And there you have it. What's great is there's no sharp edge, so there's nowhere to cut yourself. So it's perfect if you have kids too. Here are the two can openers that they sent me. This one is the automatic stop one. So you just press the button and it automatically opens the whole can and stops for you. And then here is another version. This one, you just click the button to stop it whenever it's gone all the way around the can. They're so cool and they make cooking way easier. I don't have to break my wrist or my nail trying to open a can anymore. I just feel so luxurious. I just press button and it's done for me. So definitely something I love in my kitchen now and I cannot stop using it. You can find both of these on Amazon and use my code Alexandria for 20% off. I literally love Amazon. So I'm gonna get these for all of my family members for Christmas. They're such a good gift for like your mom or anyone that you know that loves to cook. This is a lifesaver. My new favorite kitchen gadget. Mwah, mwah. Love these things. So I'm gonna add one half cup of pumpkin in here. Whoa. I'm not a clean chef. I don't know about you guys. And we're gonna blend it up. Then I'm gonna try and carefully pour it into each one. Then you're gonna take your little frozen yogurt creation and put it in the freezer so that it's frozen. The second treat we're gonna make is a pumpkin spice puppuccino. For this recipe, you're gonna need some almond milk, some ground cinnamon, and to keep the fall spirit going, we're gonna add some pumpkin to this too. Now I'm gonna show you how to use this version. It's pretty much the same thing. Press the button. For the puppuccino, I'm gonna take one cup of pumpkin and add it to that little blender bottle thing again. Three-fourths of almond milk. And would it be fall without ground cinnamon? I don't think so. We're gonna add one-fourth of this to the puppuccino. I got about one-fourth here. One-fourth a teaspoon or a tablespoon. I don't even know. Puppuccino? Do you want some puppuccino? Yeah? You want some puppuccino? Tell me. Tell me you want it. Tell me you want it. Yes! We want the puppuccino! We want the puppuccino! I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, put it in a little bowl for Daisy. It's ready to serve.
last treat is a peanut butter pumpkin dog biscuit. Yummy. So for the biscuits, you're gonna need some of this whole wheat flour, some more pumpkin, almond milk, peanut butter, and this one is the crunchy one. To make these biscuits, you're gonna need two and a half cups of whole wheat flour. Then you're gonna add one cup of almond milk. One cup of peanut butter and one cup of pumpkin. Then you're just gonna mix this up. Then you're gonna take the dough mixture and the pumpkin peanut butter mixture and you're gonna add them together. I know Daisy is gonna love this treat because she absolutely loves peanut butter and she ate that puppuccino like nobody's business. So I have a feeling she's really gonna like these. It's such a weird feeling because like the dough is not separating and the pumpkin and the peanut butter is so mushy. Ugh, it's kinda gross. Y'all should see Daisy right now, oh my God. Are you just the most adorable thing? Sometimes I just can't believe how cute you are, Daisy. You're so cute, oh my gosh. So we have our dough mixture all ready to be laid out and cookie cutted away on. Cause that's so a thing, cookie cutted. So I'm laying my dough down right here on this parchment paper with a little bit of flour. to bake at 350 a few moments later hey Daisy so the biscuits are done they just finished and I think she can't wait to try some don't they smell good There's so many. This recipe made a ton extra. I was like really surprised at how many it made. Come here. I bet you want one. Yeah. Yummy. Does anyone else's dog like to go off and eat their treats somewhere else? Because Daisy loves to just go into the living room and eat hers. Now we're checking on the frozen yogurt. It's freezing in here. guys want to follow along with any of the recipes or check out the blogs that I got the ideas from I'll leave them down below so you can go check it out so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some ideas on what to bake your dog for this fall season even though that seems like such a weird phrase you know who bakes for their dog I don't know but it's an idea it's something to try and I actually had a lot of fun and the treats turned out super cute I love this little heart design. It's really cute that I use the crunchy peanut butter because you can see the little pieces of nuts inside. And don't forget to check out the awesome Kitchen Mama automatic can openers. These things are so cool and it makes it to where everybody can open a can because even if you have really young kids or maybe you know someone that's a little older and they have a hard time opening cans, this is perfect for them. We love using the Kitchen Mama automatic can opener. So we're gonna go off and eat some fall goodies that have pumpkin in them and watch a movie. So we hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in our next one. Bye guys, we'll see you later.